No, señor. Esa sí es. Palma. Bueno, cuando uno viene en el año 1921 y llega y regresa en el 2015, pues se encuentra todo más, más grande, los árboles mucho más grandes y frondosos. Eh, el paso del tiempo se ve en el estudio, pero siente uno la alegría de estar acá nuevamente y uno se pregunta el por qué. ¡Vuelo! Que allá viene la candela, la candela viva. Que allá viene por el higuerón. This is like coming to music camp. You know, you come here and you get introduced to the artist, and you're it's, it's like this amazing minimal minimalist information that you have. You have a cassette of some kind of recording they made before, and I had this great impression of what I thought Toto was and what she and the and the orchestra, because it's really like a, a drum orchestra, are going to do. So the rehearsal yesterday of meeting them, and, and um, normally for me that would be weeks and weeks of talking to somebody and getting to know them. Bueno, al encontrarse uno con, yo sabía que Phil Ramón iba a estar con nosotros, y yo siempre pensé que la música ancestral de Colombia debería de tener eh, una muy buena producción. Because of the overtones of the drums, you, you hear these great sort of stringy lines back there. You don't know yeah. what harmonics, you know. You'd have a ball with it. Yeah. Toto in herself is so strong spiritually and mentally. Uh, it gives you such tremendous vibes of uh, affection and love. And then you see this chemistry between the musicians. So with all that preamble, I, what I'm trying to do today is to come up with a, an orchestral setup that'll give me both the intimacy and the, uh, the, the communication that she has. So I'm not going to record it in a traditional set it up with a lot of separation and, and try to be cute and clever. Um, I'm going to capture whatever appears to me in that room. I don't want them to feel like they're restrained to play to a mic. I'd rather have them play to the audience. What I'd like to capture in two days is both the essence of the immediacy of what happens in a group like this. Um, the, your, the, the drums talk to each other. intricate stuff happening all the time and uh, you know maybe when you just listen to a record you're just sort of involved in, in the total picture but I'm going to try to make those drums appear in a, in a, a way that they're hypnotic and, and they do what they're supposed to do and for, for whatever lack of knowledge I have I, I hope to find out what they're saying I've gotten uh, Toto told me a lot of what the songs were about which is vital, you know, because of the language. But I think there's a much deeper meaning to what goes on, and I'm going to uh, hope that we'll get all of that. <laughs> Start the day off this way. Good morning. <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> Twelve. This morning. Eleven. Yeah. Well, this is the result of uh, minimalist work. <laughs> Eighteen solid hours. It's great, though. Very pleased. We learned a lot. Yeah. Ah, bueno. Ah, bueno. Bueno. 
Only one.